Human Origins. From skeletons to teeth, early human fossils have been found of more than 6,000 individuals. We now know of more than 20 hominid species that are part of our family tree. At least half of these species are based on fossils unearthed in the last 30 years. While people used to think that there was a single line of human species, with one evolving towards modern humans, we now know this is not the case. Like all other animals, we are part of a large and diverse family tree. Our fossil lineage features a changing cast of ancient hominid relatives, evolutionary dead ends, and many unknowns. While the existence of a human evolutionary family tree is not in question, its size and shape are much debated by researchers. The human lineage split from the chimpanzee lineage around 7 million years ago. Australopithecus afarensis is one of the longest lived and best known early human species. Paleoanthropologists have uncovered remains of more than 300 individuals. They had both ape and human characteristics. They were adapted to living both in the trees and walking on the ground. Here is a reproduction of a three-year-old Australopithecus afarensis skull from Ethiopia's Daikika region. Homo erectus evolved around two million years ago in Africa. They were bigger, smarter, and more able to occupy and survive in differing landscapes in a changing world. Homo erectus is one of the better known of our human relatives, with over 40 specimens excavated from Java and China. Their tools included the creation of large cutting tools like hand axes and cleavers. Homo erectus was probably the first species to use and control fire around 1 to 1.6 million years ago. What made us what we are today? We humans are strange creatures. Humans are big headed, our brains are about three times larger than would be expected for an animal of our size. The cause of the increase in brain size is unclear, but it was made possible by changes in diet and access to meat, a rich source of protein. The ability of humans to comfortably stand on two feet for extended periods of time is called bipedalism. Bipedalism would have allowed males to provide for their families with high quality food as well as to help protect them from any looming dangers. We know that other animals use tools, but our human mastery of tools is second to none. The anatomy of our hand changed to allow our ancestors to grip objects. Scientists are sure that modern humans first evolved in Africa. Analysis of the ancient skeletons found indicates that humans of this time led a physically tough life. In 1868, in a shallow cave at cro magnon in southwestern France, a number of ancient human skeletons were found. cro magnons were robustly built and powerful and are presumed to have been about 170 centimeters tall. cro magnon dwellings are most often found in caves. They were the first people to create engravings and statuettes of humans and animals. In France and Spain, they painted different kinds of animals on the walls of their caves. Some abstract designs associated with seasonal animals may relate to astronomical calendars. Recently, ancient art was also discovered in a limestone cave on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi from at least 45,500 years ago. Homo floresiensis 
was one of the last early human species to die out. Skeletal evidence suggests that they grew no larger than a three-year-old modern child. The species lived with pygmy elephants and Komodo dragons on a remote island named Flores in Indonesia. They became extinct around 50,000 years ago. Neanderthals coexisted with modern humans for long periods of time before eventually becoming extinct about 28,000 years ago. Thousands of fossils of Neanderthal individuals have been recovered from sites across Europe and the Middle East. They were generally shorter and had more robust skeletons and muscular bodies than modern humans. Their stocky build were evolutionary adaptations to cold and dry environments. Neanderthals had a reasonably advanced toolkit and may have traded tools with her ancestors. Her name is Naya, and for 12,000 years, the skeleton of this young woman was buried underwater in an elaborate cave system in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Her ancestors' origins were in Beringia, an area once above water between Siberia and North America. This is her reconstruction. Researchers from London's Natural History Museum extracted DNA from Britain's oldest complete skeleton, which was discovered in 1903. They found that the 10,000-year-old man had curly dark hair, blue eyes and skin that was probably dark brown or black in tone. With our modern scientific tools and new discoveries, the mysteries of our great ancestors are being exposed. One truth is sure. All humans alive today share a single rich heritage of courage and survival. We are the children of our ancient past.